Welcome back. You're still tuned into Inside Art on CNBC TV 18. This is our Swatlight segment. So, Nigel, let's get straight to it. What is the stock on your radar today? Well, the company that we're tracking today is CSP Bank. You know, and the bank, it's a, a mix of a couple of focus areas of the street. One is the street has a consensus buy on good quality banking stocks. Most of the thesis is buy on dips out and good quality banking stocks. And also CSP Bank, well, they have exposure to gold, which is seeing renewed interest. This has global equities have gone into a bit of a tizzy. What else stands out for the bank is that they have relatively better NIMS in comparison to its peer set. And as is the case with banking names, it's, it's corrected more than 10% from its recent peak. Okay, so tell us more about this gold exposure that the company has and also on its net interest margin, which is relatively better. Well, gold consists of nearly around 45% of its advances. And in the past quarter, it grew by close to around 51% on a year-in-year -year basis. That clearly indicates that they're gradually eating into the market share of gold financers like Mudut as well as Manapuram. Now, since it is more of a retail-focused bank, it reflects in its NIMS as it's much higher in comparison to its peer group, which also has some exposure to gold. Now, gold loans, remember, they attract better yields in comparison to other loans, and credit cost is almost zilch. Okay, interesting there. So, Nigel, where do they have maximum gold exposure? And also, what is their target in terms of loan book mix in the coming years? Well, bulk of their gold loans have exposure to South Indian states. That's namely Kerala, Tamil Nadu, as well as Andhra Pradesh. Additionally, the management has said that they intend to grow the SME and the corporate loan book from year on, and they've given their vision for 2030. Gold as a percentage of their advances will come down to around 20%, from around 45% currently. Okay, so now tell us more in terms of the net interest margin trends, with some focus on cost of deposits and also yields on advances. Well, the cost of deposits have moved up, and it's likely to move up in the coming quarter. That's for the entire banking system on the whole. Well, the NIMS as well have spiked up. The management has said that they would be content with NIMS around 5%. They're also targeting overall loan growth of around 25% odd. The bank has been bracing for growth as they've increased the total number of branches by nearly around 15% in the past one year. And that's much faster in comparison to the industry on the whole. Okay, so Nigel, more questions now. Give us some insights into the asset quality and also tell us about return ratios. Well, the asset quality sonal has been improving. You know, you look at the gross NPAs, you look at the net NPAs as well as the slippage ratio. They have been dipping over the past few quarters and their ROA is roughly around 2.4% odd. Okay, all right. Nigel, now let's always, as we do it, wind it down with valuation snapshot and a brief insight into the shareholding as well. Okay, let's do that then. On a price to book value basis, well, it trades at around 1.2 times odd. That's a little higher than its peer set, but it's not very, very expensive. The promoter of the group is the Fairfax Group, which is owned by Prem Vatsa, while its shareholding, well, it boasts of some of the biggest marquee institutional names, both domestic as well as foreign. All right, Nigel, that was some good information on CSB Bank. Thank you so much for telling us all about it. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Inside Out. It's a goodbye from Nigel and I. But you do write to us and tell us about companies that you want us to discuss and you want to hear about. We'll be happy to feature them on the show. Thanks so much for watching.